today we are going to sketch this uh, still life shining utensils in the kitchen to draw this i got into my kitchen and uh, i liked this two together and so we are going to sketch this so you are going to learn how to sketch it with uh, symmetrical here are the tools i used so mostly stedler pencils i use which is quite soft and good and conte charcoal pencils for darker area so this is how i am planning um so vertical line for the size or height of the vessel then there is a line in the middle then so i'm drawing this line uh, the, it is equal in size in the right, to the right and left so around this i want to make a oval this helps me to make a oval and in the right and left it is equal in size making the slanting line to the right and left again um, so i use this horizontal line with the same distance to the right and left so this helps me to make and get the symmetrical line so it's a quite an easy technique make a horizontal line equal size on right and left that will help you to make symmetrical shapes so after that you can maybe erase the guiding lines vertical and horizontal lines so i'm making a small cap small or uh, structure in the cap in the top so making all those so at any time you can pause the video and play it back again if it is faster for you so put all the efforts for nice and proper shape and symmetry so without that whatever the shading you give uh, it will not look good so try your best for the best uh, symmetrical thing take all the time you need so the cap it has such a structure in the top i made it making a second line for the cap so always you can start with the lighter lines and if you are very confident then you can make it darker then all the guidelines you can erase it and the darker lines still you can see so i'm sure about this so whatever i'm sure about it i'm just making those lines darker now so i'm using um lead pencil stedler 8b you can use generally i mean 2b 4b pencils so i use 8b pencil and uh, control light and dark using that so now this uh, a line i did a line cross line so this is going to help me to draw the handle there is a handle in the left and there is a handle in the right so observe the shape that i make for the handle in the left and these uh, vessels uh, are kept on a table so i'm drawing this horizontal line 
above which i'll make it all dark using my charcoal pencils later so now i'm planning another a small thing a small uh, vessel we call kinnam kutti kinnam so i started with the horizontal line so that uh, decides the size and the placement then i drew the vertical line i'm making this oval now and the point in the bottom decides the size of the this smaller one i'm trying to make uh, there is a spoon which is kept inside drawing the spoon the size whole size of the spoon i'm making a oval for the uh, front side of the spoon handle notice the curve gentle curve made for the handle and uh, here comes the shadow so the bigger one smaller one and the shadow all together it is all in a inclined slanting orientation all of them from the left top to right bottom so that's how i compose this working out all the shadows now basic sketching is done so we can go to the next one next level next uh, step is to give the shade so before that take your eraser and erase all the guide li guiding lines all the horizontal line vertical line and all that so comfortably we can erase it um so do not worry of uh, the lines of the the shapes getting erased so we can draw again so all the double lines all the guiding lines you can erase it this is a not a transparent uh, thing so i'm erasing this so i'm completing all the disconnected lines now this learning the basic shapes of uh, straight lines and ovals and circles rectangles is quite important um so that's how uh, sketching the still life is going to help for an artist from the basic shapes you can make um make the objects then uh, you can work on the shadow shading easily
okay now the basic sketching is over so start shading now so i'm using this one more paper to mask the the uh, part of the sketching so i don't want to keep my hand straight over that it might spoil the sketch so i'm keeping this another paper as a mask <clears throat> so doing the first level of shading i drew two lines where it's going to be bright highlight then i'm shading using this pencil which is my 8b pencil you can do with 4b pencil and the, i'm not shading quite dark uh, it is light shading i'm trying to give now so this is the first first layer or uh, the first step so once you do this then after that you can identify darker areas and do it so now i am doing this uh, darker shading little darker shading so look at the angle or in which i am doing the shading so when the reflections fall or on the vessels based on the shape it is the shape the shadows will be forming based on the shape okay so after this now i'm using eraser to erase gently um look at this for the highlight on the edge on the on the edge of the 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 cap i'm doing this and another straight line like this so sometimes you, we can use um eraser like this for the highlight to create the highlight See now I'm using like pencil like thing but this also an eraser but it this has a sharper tip so so thin lines can be erased with this very useful thing the kohinoor uh, brand of pencil they have released with this other brands also have released this uh, pencil like eraser you can try that so the eraser technique is a main technique then for generally for the shading you can shade lighter then lighter ones then after that find out the darker area and shade it darker and if required the eraser also can be used for a highlight um so so right now i'm using this pencil later once i complete uh, the whole first round of shading for the whole uh, drawing then after that i will use my uh, stedler ee pencil which is quite little more darker for uh, shading the darker area so look at this the thin line of uh, erasing i could do it with this simple eraser only um, but it's quite helpful mm, making this fine line highlight
I just bought it recently and it's quite useful. I think I'm using this for the first time. So all you have to do is uh, see the reference and just keep working on the shadows. Um, so you can follow further. So once you follow, definitely it will be a great learning for you to how to approach. the shading and uh, doing overall shading with the uh, with a lighter pencil then going with the darker pencil so the background i have used a charcoal pencil mostly to get a very dark background okay so go through the whole video and enjoy have a good day um so i am murlidhar nalagar i am an artist from chennai and i take art classes also so you can check my site uh, cucko.in to see all the um, all my collection of artworks and uh, to if if interested you can buy them and uh, so all the art classes i take all the details you can find them so you can join online art classes zoom based so i take so you can check it out in my site and uh, for the sketching i for the kids and uh, any beginners um i take uh, sketching courses oil pastel courses watercolor courses and uh, mixed media acrylic courses also i do and uh, for seniors also uh, for this even um, those intermittent people and advanced learning also we can join so anatomy based uh, human drawing also i teach okay um, so follow the video and have fun get in touch with me if you are interested and request you to subscribe to the channel for new videos for learning okay good day
Thank you.